So our process for developing a master plan for a regional park begins with this deep dive into the ecological and cultural research of the place. So often landscapes lose these stories over time. As cultures change, as regimes change, we can lose the important ecological and cultural traces that the land holds. At Stones River Bend, we have really tried to open the park up to the public imagination. 2017 is really the first time that a dedicated planning exercise has been engaged for this park. What that means is the public is probably not thinking of it as an active park within the portfolio of Metro Parks. So our first step is to hear what people think. How will people use a regional park? So we are hosting an open house in partnership with Metro Parks and our design partners, Tara Armistead and Hutch and Douglas, to invite the public to come in and wander the park. We've been doing several months of historical research and ecological research. So what we've prepared are maps to describe everything from the soils and the plant communities to former uses of agriculture and even in the case of Ravenwood, uh, a public golf course. Our hope is that today, people will hike the property and then they'll give us ideas and responses. What do they see as the critical uses for a regional park? How would they use a park? What are things they don't want to see in a regional park? How are the greater community's needs met at the regional scale? With that, and using the countywide master plan that was just completed by Metro Parks and Hawkins Partners Landscape Architects, we will start to develop and test drive what is the carrying capacity of that piece of land from a recreational standpoint, both passive and active recreation. From an ecological standpoint, what is the potential, the best potential that a regional park can serve? So the process ahead uses design as the way to make all of these decisions, but that design is not something that falls from the sky. It's something that evolves through this layered process of research, public process, and collaboration to balance the ecology, the history, and the current needs of the citizens of Nashville.